we're taking a look here at name values. And these are built in expressions that reference uh, various values that you'll find in your configuration scripts. We do cover these in their respected sections, but I wanted to consolidate them here in one place just so that uh, you get a second chance to reinforce this information because the uh, crux of questions on the exam could be based on knowing how the name values work. So let's go through them. The first is resources. I'm gonna get out my pen tool here. And so the way resources work is that you start with the resource type, so AWS instance, and then you're going to do the name of it. So there's nothing that uh, um, starts uh, before the left-hand side of it. So just remember, it just starts with that resource type. Then you have input variables, and that starts with var period. So that's the singular var. Then we have local values. And again, that's singular, so local period. For child modules, it starts with module period, again, singular. For data sources, it's going to be data singular. Just remember singular because they can have a, a matchup on the on the exam questions where it'll be like data or datas. For file system and workspace info, we have path.module. This is the path of the module where the expression is placed. We have path.root. This is the path of the root module of the configuration. We have path CWD. This is the path of the current working directory. And uh, in practice, uh, the default CWD is the same as the root, so those would be technically the same. We have terraform.workspace. This is the name of the currently selected workspace. Then we have block local values. These are things that appear within uh, a body of a blocks. So this could be within a resource, provisioners, things like that. So we have, um, if we're using the count meta argument, we're gonna get count. And with that, we'll have count.index. So we can say, okay, this is the uh, fourth iteration of you know uh, this, this uh, count loop. Um, then we have for each, and this allows us to have the key and the value, so we can access that during our iterations. We have self, uh, so self is a, a references information within provisioners or connections, um, so it's just like a self-referencing thing. Name values resemble the attribute notation of map or object values, but are not objects and do not act as objects. You cannot use square brackets to access attributes of name values like an object. So there you go.